All right, guys. Ugh. We'll do a little video update. I keep seeing everybody with their fucking clownfish and this and that BS gay shit. This is my quarantine tank right now. And in it, as you can see, I have a real clownfish, a golden nugget, which already had a little bit of gold turning. And as you can see, I have my semi Picasso. Each one of those clownfish is expensive. That one is very expensive. I wish they had two or I would have bought both of them, but assholes can't even keep them alive. Nitrates are at two, pH is at, I wanna say 8.2, or 7.2, whatever the fuck it was. But, not only do we have our badass clownfish pair, I also got this little guy. Well, actually, we'll go to him first. We have a nice little uh, mini carpet. Gold nugget, Picasso. And then I have, uh, I just saved this guy's life from my friend who doesn't even know what he eats. He's had it for about a week and a half. There we go. He's a little malnourished, but put a shit ton of copepods in there for him. That's your male mandarin goby. And what's awesome about it is, not only do I have a fucking male, but I have this female right here. So as you can see, that's my female Mandarin, which are extremely difficult to find. It took me forever to find this bitch. Let's see if I can get it. Come on, zoom in, come on. Hold on. Oh, come on. There we go. And as you can see, she's colored out too. Our little guys are pairing up already. Plus I got a, uh -huh. I don't know where, oh, you can see his little head right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a lawnmower blenny baby. And it's funny because uh, when I went to the pet store I used to work at, uh, they had a baby, baby Royal Gamma or Neon Dottie back. And he was about maybe, maybe like this big. He was tiny as shit. No one he thought he was gonna live. He eats more copepods and more of everything than anyone, as you could see. His name's Jit. Not scared of anything or anyone. He's always down to play. Every time he sees me, he walks over, he's like, food, 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 food. He's already probably tripled in size. But I figure, you know, I like to give him the quarantine tank for at least two, three months. It's not really, I mean, it's a quarantine slash, you know, little bio cube, but just to make sure. Because I'm tired of putting shit in my 150, 200 gallons and they get ick and it's, ugh. So these are these guys. I paid a dollar for him and a dollar for him. Holla at your boy. They sell him a barrier reef for 500 bucks. And as you can see, I kind of let the algae grow on the rocks and everywhere because the copepods are all in it. I stopped the wave maker because they didn't need so much. Now the copepods are all over. It's hard to see. I wish you could see them. Little things running around everywhere. But, uh, yeah, this is one of my 14 gallon bio cues. Like I told you, it's more of the quarantine. Kind of just make sure everyone lives because this water has been good forever. And I love him so much. So gangster. They already like each other. And that's it, that's a little 14 right now. There's a little guy hiding and stuff. His little head's popping out. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the bio cube, yeah.